The war in Ukraine is delivering a heavy blow to an already stressed global food system. Those most immediately affected are, of course, those in the conflict zone or trying to get away from it. Beyond Ukraine's borders, the conflict is affecting global supplies of grains, cooking oil, and fertilizer, driving up prices and straining international organizations' ability to get food to those facing hunger in other parts of the world. Together, Russia and Ukraine, sometimes referred to as the breadbasket of Europe, account for 29% of global wheat exports, 80% of the world's sunflower oil, and 40% of its barley. The two countries provide 12% of food calories consumed globally. The Black Sea region plays an especially important role in food security for the Middle East and North Africa and parts of Asia. Destruction of infrastructure, port closures, and the economic sanctions le levied against Russia will continue to have cascading effects on those countries reliant on food imports from the region. Russia is also a large producer and one of the most important exporters of key fertilizer ingredients. Many countries, including uh, food stress countries in Sub-Saharan Africa, are dependent on Russia and Belarus for these fertilizer imports. What we're seeing is the compounding effects of war on a global food supply chain that has been stressed by COVID-19 and is struggling to keep pace with a changing climate. The Food and Agriculture Organization has said that the conflict could increase food prices by as much as 20%. Because of the expected drop in Ukraine output, grain markets are at their highest in 14 years. Higher grain and maize costs mean higher costs for livestock, so meat and dairy costs are also likely to rise. But it isn't just about the reduced supply of grains and cooking oil from the region. The disruptions to natural gas and fertilizer markets mean higher energy and fertilizer prices for producers right as they head into a new planting season. This has implications for global hunger and the effects will be felt everywhere. But for poorer countries, the impact will be more immediate and devastating. 